Hello, I'm Mike Craddock and today I'll be showing you how to change the clutch on an MP9 ready set. So it's like a service as well as changing the clutch. So the tools you will need is a 2.5 driver and a 2.5 ball end driver to take the um, engine out easier from the top. A small screwdriver that's quite worn out at the end so that um, it's easy to flick the springs off. You need a Phillips screwdriver and a file to file the burrs off of the worn clutch bit. Clutch shoes and some oil to oil the bearings and some tissue just to clean the clutch bell out and the clutches. So we take the body off, put them in the parts tray and get my ball end driver. Take the screws out from the top. This to connect the fuel lines. Unscrew the exhaust with a two millimeter. Disconnect the ball joint. This can be easily done by just just by popping it off like that. You should get the whole of the engine to remove so you can easily work on the clutch bell. Undo the retaining clutch bell screw. This is on a brand new engine. What happens here is the, the clutch shoe gets burred and you need to address them with a file. And also you need to check your bearings and make sure the clutch bell is nice and clean inside with the blunt screwdriver. Just push the bearings out, small. Just push the other bearing out just check that they roll freely and what I'll do is I'll put a piece of uh, tissue down and I will wipe the bearings clean there'd be quite a lot of dirt coming off of these clean both bearings up lay them on a the tissue uh, take your oil and just put a drop of oil on that and let that soak through on the tissue wipe the clutch bell out you can see there's dirt coming off of that and then with the blunt screwdriver, just get in between and just flick the spring off. Then we go to the next one. Just flick off. And go to the next one. Check all the pins are level to so check the height of them and make sure they're the same height and not coming out. And none of them are bent or straight and there's not too much markings on the flywheel. If you get some markings on the flywheel it show that you've been running the clutch with a bad burr for too long. Please see the pictures that we will show you of a badly worn clutch. Check your uh, clutch nut is still tight. Just make sure it's not moving in any way. You can use this uh, holding tool. Check that that's tight. That's good. So once you've taken the uh, clutch shoes off uh, you can see there's already a chamfer on the new one and on the bottom not so much. This this is where it will make a mark on your flywheel on the base of it. So what you need to do is you need to file the edges so there's no burr. So it's all smooth to the touch and this groove here for the spring so that the spring can move nicely in between. You get the needle file and file with an angle so that it sits nicely in the groove so you can see that that's a nice straight groove now and it, like I said before the spring fits nice and smoothly in and out. What you're looking for on a clutch wear as well is as this wears down your spring you should be able to start seeing the spring like that. If you see the spring sitting above the clutch when it's mounted like that or just like that then that's where your clutch is worn out and it will be basically your clutch will be operating on the clutch belt of the spring. You need to see it sitting below so like that is perfect so you can't see any spring. Once you've done all three of these clutch shoes Make sure they're all nice and smooth to the touch. And repeat with the third one. No burrs. So we're now ready to fit the clutch shoes back on. So we'll put the spring in place. Flywheel. 
and sit the spring on top holding the clutch down just push on the top of the clutch and just push the spring round you can see the spring is sitting there and just make sure the clutch springs back nicely listen for that sound and note the direction the clutch shoe is always facing like clockwise direction making sure all the springs are in line now and they all work and not catching each other now we're ready to wipe the excess oil from the bearings you see there's still a little bit of dirt coming out of the bearings take your shim and your first bearing put that on top what this shim does is it spaces your clutch bell so it doesn't touch your flywheel otherwise this will cause it to stall and you can see there's a nice gap between the clutch bell and the flywheel so you see that spinning nicely and you place your second bearing in then your other shim just to take up you can see just the top of the crankshaft on here and then you can put your screw back on and then hold in the flywheel Up. and then what you're looking for is some end flow of just about half a millimeter to a little bit over not any tighter really because this gets very hot and will expand so you just want that much make sure the clutch bell spins freely so that's ready to be mounted into the car again just put your screws in this will help when you seat the car in so all your screws are ready to seat in the car so we're ready to place the engine back into the car line the exhaust up and seat back into the mountains with your ball end 2.5 screwdriver screws up tight to start off with just make sure you get the location once you've got it in just gently nip them up just uh, hold the spur gear at the bottom and then with your other finger just touch the clutch bell and turn it and hear that knocking noise and turn the wheels around a bit and you just want to hear a little rocking and a little knocking noise that's telling you the mesh is perfect with your ball end 2.5 again do the first screw up then go to the back opposite side and do that one up then go across to the rear opposite side and do that one up and then finally the one at the front on the opposite side again and do that up and the car should roll freely then connect your fuel tube up and your airline your pressure line make sure that's on there well it's it all the way home and then with your two mil just check your exhaust is in the right position and make sure that mounts done securely up there and it's not too close to your side guard then most important is to clip your uh, ball joint back on so if you get a flat screwdriver just get behind the ball joint and just pop that on and make sure your linkage is you haven't bent this and just make sure that that's a nice smooth throttle action on there and you know that that's all fine that's how you service your clutch or change for new clutch shoes hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much